what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Things are starting to get spicy. Things are starting to heat up. Today we have a couple of really, really big TSM stories to be talking about. I kind of want to break this up into multiple videos and the one I want to focus on in this one uh, is the news coming out regarding Huni. Some really, really crazy, really, really big uh, news that we're going to be talking about. And, and this could potentially affect Hooney going forward the rest of this season, but it also could affect his career going forward. Uh, but first, a word from today's sponsor, which is, of course, prize picks. All you got to do, really simple, really easy, pick over or under on player props to win up to 10x your cash Big payouts, 24-7 live support, fast and secure withdrawals. Um, they offer all kinds of different games. They do esports. They do League of Legends esports, LCS, LEC. Um, they did EU Masters. They do LPL. They're going to do Worlds, all of this different stuff. Some of the picks I'm looking at for tomorrow are Knight. I'm going under 8.5 kills against OMG, and I'm taking the other side of this as well. Cream over four kills uh, against top esports. If you guys want to make some picks of your own, definitely check out the first link in the description below. And if you get signed up with Prize Picks, you're actually going to match your first deposit up to $100. That's an awesome, awesome deal. You guys got to go check that out. Thank you so much to them for supporting me. They've been awesome to work with. Uh, so I would really appreciate it if you guys went and supported them as well. With that being said, let's get right into this. And the story that we are talking about today is the news coming out. This is from Double Lift Stream, a little leak. I, I couldn't find, a, a, there were some YouTube clips and stuff, but um, it just mostly I wanted to talk about the points that he is saying, he thinks for this coming weekend, that Hooney is not going to be playing. Double Lift believes that Hooney is going to be benched, or I don't, I don't really even know if bench is the right word. Hooney is not going to be playing. Their academy top laner, Soul, is going to be coming in. And that's a crazy story in and of itself, obviously. But the bigger part of this is Hooney is not getting benched or sitting out or not playing or whatever because necessarily he's underperforming. I, I have been pretty critical of Hooney in the past. I think Hooney's been decent so far this year, especially this split. I think he's been better than in the spring. I don't think Hooney's been a major problem. I don't think he's like a top three top laner like maybe he was at, or for sure was at some points in his career. Um, but I think he's been fine. I think he's been serviceable, especially for, for TSM, which they're an eighth place team. Now he has an expiring contract. He's a free agent. So maybe he's not in their future plans. So maybe it makes more sense to get sold to the LCS, but I don't necessarily think soul is ready for the LCS at this point. So it's kind of weird, but double if says Hooney is not going to be playing this weekend because his wrists are shot. I don't know if it's one wrist. I don't know if it's both wrists. I don't know how bad it is. I don't know if this is something he's been dealing with. If this is new, how bad it is. But all of a sudden, that changes everything. That changes um, what Hooney not playing this weekend means. And that's what I meant by, this isn't really Hooney getting benched per se. It's just like, he's he's injured. You know, if you're out with an injury, you're, you're not benched. You're not kicked or whatever. Um, but I don't really know what the right word is for it. Because obviously, we don't see this stuff in League of Legends esports all that often. But in the short term, I think it's going to be very, very exciting to see Soul play. Um, and for that reason, I'm not happy that Hooney got injured. I, I'm not trying to say anything like that, but in some reasons, this is exciting because I want to see how good Soul is going to be. I want to see how promising he looks. We saw a guy like Philip come up uh, to FlyQuest and he's looked a lot better than people thought he was going to look. He's been developing fast and Soul is absolutely a guy who could be the, the future top laner for TSM. He could be the top laner for TSM for the next five years if everything goes well. If he ends up being as good as advertised, we will have to wait and see. Um, I also hope that Soul doesn't come in uh, and just do really, really bad. And I hope it doesn't like hurt his mental or his confidence or anything like that because that's very possible. Like I said, I think Soul needs more time in Academy. He's very talented. He has potential. Definitely still rough around the edges. Just needs more practice and experience. Also, TSM right now in eighth place. Yeah, they have a chance to make playoffs because eight teams make playoffs. Yes, they have, uh, you know, they could maybe if they play their best lineup, they can move up to fifth or sixth or whatever. But either way, they're not going to Worlds. Nothing crazy like that's happening. So you might as well start letting some of these players play. You might as well start figuring out what you got with, with some of these guys. So in that way, I think it's good. But then looking at this from the Hooney perspective, depending on how bad this injury is, is it possible that this is career ending for him? Is it something that's going to be that catastrophic, that that bad? Now, I hope not. And we've seen other players in the past, you know, bounce back from injuries, wrist issues, wrist pain, all that stuff. I know, you know, Bjergsen has historically dealt with some stuff, but hey, these players, People work for, you know, multi, multi, multi-million dollar companies. They have physical therapists. They have all the best, um, you know, doctors, specialists, everything in the world. Um, you know, Hooney, I feel like should hopefully be able to get this thing straightened out. He should be able to get it worked out. But um, you never know what the, what the extent of some of these injuries are, what level of pain he's going through. And like I said, he's also 
going to be a free agent. He has an expiring contract. What does the future even look like for him? You know, uh, obviously he's been on a, a, a ninth place team last split. He's on an eighth place team this split. Um, I, I think he's fine. I definitely think he's still LCS level, but are there going to be teams lining up to get Hooney? Maybe, uh, especially now that he's a, he's a resident and that definitely helps a lot of things out. But um, what does the future look like for Hooney? Uh, you know, just even... Even without his injury, this offseason was going to be very, very interesting. But now all of a sudden, if he's injured, if he's an injury risk, if there's um, you know questions about how much longer he's going to be able to play or if he's going to be able to play at all, that becomes very, very crazy. And I think that's really uh, sad for the LCS overall because Hooney has been a good player, very exciting player at many points in his career, very polarizing player. A lot of people really like him. A lot of people don't like him, think he's an inter. Some people remember him for like Lucian Top, you know, flanking on Lucian Top, trolling, that type of stuff. Um, the coin flip player, sometimes he's head, sometimes he's tails, whatever. But he's been good to the LCS. You know, he's been here for a while. Um, he's really made an effort to, to, to learn English and he, he interacts with fans. He's good on content, good in interviews, good in videos, all that stuff. He's done a lot of cool things. Um, definitely past his prime, definitely on the downward slope of his career. And if you start throwing injuries and stuff like that in the mix as well, and you know, you can't practice, you can't play solo queue, um, you can't do a lot of these things, which now that I'm thinking about it, it actually makes this really interesting. And it makes it make a lot more sense because a couple of days ago, we were actually talking about how Hooney was the only member of like the nine members for TSM that, that wasn't playing champions queue. So this is probably something, you know, this didn't like pop up today or yesterday or something like that. It's probably something he's been dealing with for a while. Um, and it just makes me really, really curious because as sad as it sounds like it's possible that Hooney has maybe played his last game in the LCS. It's possible he's maybe played his last competitive League of Legends match. Obviously, I hope that is not the case, but you know, it, it is really, really crazy. And this was very, very unexpected. Um, obviously, we've had this long break. TSM's had time to prepare for this. I don't know how long they've been scrimming with Soul or anything like that. But, um, you know, this is from Double of Stream. This comes from his mouth. This is what he's saying. This is the news that's getting passed around. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But either way, this is a huge, huge, huge story. This is something really, really crazy. Obviously, TSM news stories, everything, they're always big. But um, this is just very, very unexpected. And I, I think this was kept under wraps uh, pretty well. Uh, obviously, TSM stuff doesn't usually get out too easily. You know, they're pretty tight-lipped most of the time um but yeah at least according to double if it does seem like that Hooney will not be playing this weekend having some wrist issues having some wrist pain um the other thing that I did want to say is that we had this um from dunk on the tsm subreddit as well uh he said not confirming or denying any rumors but all announcements are going to be out tomorrow um at the time you're watching this video, it should be today. So there should be some official TSM announcements today. We'll be figuring out exactly what they're going to be doing with the roster this weekend. There's also some rumors going around about the bot lane, tactical, Mia, who's all going to be playing, Chime, um, you know, the Academy 80 carry, all that going on. We don't know for sure just yet. These are just Doublelift rumors. Obviously, Doublelift has a lot of connections. Uh, he talks to a lot of people. He has friends inside TSM, like Tactical, like Spica, but also there's a lot of people at TSM that don't like him and, and don't want him getting their hands on all the information and all that. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But so far, it seems at the very least, Hooney is out for this weekend. Medium take is Hooney's maybe out for the rest of the split uh, and the rest of the season. And, and the, the worst case scenario Maybe his career is over. I'm not sure. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Let me drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this news. Uh, how surprised are you? How shocked are you? What do you think's next for Hooney? How do you think Soul's going to do? I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Uh, subscribe, save up to date, and all my latest content. Definitely check out Prize Picks. First link in the description below. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.